there's a, this expectation of something happening when you have a video. There's going to be an event. And so I was trying to figure out how to make an event in a different way than a narrative way or a way that's kind of more aligned with the experimental film tradition. I start to think about what kind of picture I'm trying to make and what needs to happen in the picture. So I think about them more like an event happens in a painting. So I think that there's this physical kind of event that you can see in a painting even though it's frozen, as opposed to the way an event happens in a narrative film, which is based on some sort of sequential linear story. The film came out of the Nomadic Archive project where I asked people to send me images of their ideas or experiences about the nomad or the nomadic. I'm trying to kind of extend or make my own work more nomadic by asking people that I don't know to send me images, which hopefully will sort of start some kind of dialogue. In the contemporary world, I think there are a lot of different forms of the nomad. So there's this traditional form, which is present in the film, but there's also kind of business travel or nomadism due to natural disasters. There's all kinds of ways in which people and things are moving. And the transformations that occur through the movement of people and things is sort of what I'm interested in. I think there's also something really desirable about things not being entirely fixed and permanent. So I think there's a paradox with the condition of being precarious. It's something that I feel like a lot of people experience and I sort of hope that people can relate to it in that way. Well, the way I make films is it's really important for me that they come across as being really physical experiences for the person who looks at them. So I think that all of this stuff comes secondary to the physical experience of being with the film. And I'm trying to make something that's, that really looks like it's handmade. I want it to actually look like things are being put together in order to try to make this picture. I think that we experience the world through fragments quite often. And so this fragment has this entire narrative embedded in it, but all I have is the fragment. And I'm trying to make these pictures that come across the same way. So it's like a fragment of something that's so big that you don't know where the edges are. Yeah.